uh, length of stay in hospital after a joint replacement procedure is uh, quite variable because people recover at different speeds. So the most important thing that I want you to know um, is that you're not going to be sent home until you're ready. And uh, so don't feel um, like you're being rushed. Um, we want you to stay in hospital until we can see that you are uh, safe and independent and confident. So um, by the same token, we're not gonna keep you in hospital any longer than you need to be. Um, and so for most people, they'll be staying in hospital after a joint replacement, probably around about two or three nights. Now, there's some people who are going to um, progress quicker um, and we're not gonna hold you back. Um, we will accelerate your um, recovery protocols uh, according to your capacity. So some people might just stay overnight. Uh, by the same token, some people need a little bit more time. And so um, those people will stay in hospital a little bit longer. The criteria for going home um, is based on function and capability. So it's not based on um, numeric number of days in hospital. So we don't have a prescribed number of days where you're allowed to stay in and then after that you're, you're, you you need to leave hospital. It's based upon your capacity. And so when you're in hospital, you'll be getting physiotherapy um, twice per day um, and the nursing staff will also be assessing you as to your confidence and capability for being able to manage at home. Probably one of the more important factors that we use to be able to judge your suitability for um, leaving hospital is in relation to your functional mobility. So those are tasks like getting in and out of uh, the bed, walking with your crutches safely, being able to negotiate obstacles like up and down stairs, and getting in and out of cars. So simple functional mobility activities. Some people need a little bit extra time in hospital after their joint replacement because they're just not feeling confident. And in particular, they might be the people who are a bit more frail. They might have other joint pathologies um, or alternatively other health concerns which are uh, making it a little bit more difficult for them to recover. And so that, that's, that's okay. So we can arrange for you to stay in hospital a little bit longer until you're feeling confident and that you've demonstrated competency in your mobility tasks. Um, alternatively, we do have the option of a rehabilitation unit admission. So the rehabilitation unit at St Andrews War Memorial Hospital is um, within the same hospital facility. It's just a different area or section of the hospital itself. And um, that's where people might go if they need uh, maybe an extra week or two. Um, it's not common to need to do a rehabilitation unit admission after joint replacement surgery, um, but some people benefit from it and we'll, we'll advise you if we think that that's going to be necessary. If you have any questions uh, about your suitability for discharge, uh, please just ask the physiotherapist or nursing staff and uh, we'll be coming around on a regular basis to be able to um, keep an eye on your recovery progress.